Cowboys.com being joined by legendary boxer. I'm talking about Kermit Citron. He is here at Cowboy Fight Series 3. First, got to thank you, man, for joining me, Kermit. I appreciate you taking the time, man. So, like I said, we're here at uh, Cowboy Fight Series 3. Uh, we have this great night of fights, and you got on the mic during intermission, and you dropped a bombshell on us that you were going to be making your debut in the cage sometime in the near future. Is that correct? Absolutely. You know, I got uh, one more. I'm trying to do one more fight in November 23rd. Uh, try to get my 40th win. Yes. And then uh, I'm going to transition to uh, MMA. I've been working a little bit uh, with some of the guys at uh, Disciples uh, Gym. And um, I'm also going to be working with uh, Eddie Alvarez and um, Frankie Edgar. So yes. they, they want to help, help me out. Uh, I've helped them out before in sports and stuff like that. So, um, you know, we're going to... Um, get together and um, hopefully in the next six, seven months, you know, I'm in the ring. So, Watch it, the hexagon. Uh, we'll, take it back, we'll take it back a little bit because there was a long time argument of the, the boxer and MMA fighter and everything, you know, who would win. And then that conversation came up where everybody brought your past up of your wrestling. And it was like, you know who would make a great transition? It's Kermit Sintram, professional boxer, takes people's heads off. And he obviously has the wrestling background to go, go get it. Now it's all coming together. Why so late in your career? Well, uh, I know at one time um, the name was Sean Short came up. And I was all about it. Yeah. And then uh, that kind of died out, so I just continued my um, my boxing career. Um, and uh, you know, I, I I tried. I tried over the years to uh, you know connect with Dana White and see if I can get an opportunity. Uh, it never came about. So um, working with uh, my coach uh, Pedro, he, he has some connections as well as uh, Scott, who owns uh, Disciple Gym. Uh, he got uh, connected with uh, Brian, who's uh, who works with uh, Bellator, who has some some kind of connection to them. Uh, so you know we're in the process of talking, and, uh, and hopefully you know this happens uh, this time around. So I gotta ask, man, with the wrestling prowess and the boxing background is obviously fantastic. It speaks for itself. What is when people do their homework, and obviously the internet is so vast nowadays, anybody that knows the name Kermit Cintron is going to realize, you know what, I'd probably be in my best interest to take him to the ground. If you're pro box, you've fought everybody under the sun. And the name of the, your record speaks for itself. So, how do you prepare for that? Are you mainly focusing on your ground game, per se, now? Or how's your kicking game coming? Well, right now we're just working on, uh, on, on, on bad situations. And, you know, <laughs> the, the groundwork is, is what I'm, I'm, I need to work on, you know, the judicial part of things. Uh, but as I'm getting it on, going and getting it together, and, you know, it's, it's, it's all, all come together uh, from, from the first fight. So I'll, I'll be ready for, you know, if they take me down, or they'll try, I'm sure they'll try to take me down. Um, but, uh, you know, th their plan is always to be prepared for, for whatever comes. Well, hopefully we can stay in touch. I've got a pre-fight interview before your first uh, MMA bout. But good luck getting your 40th win in the uh, ring, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate you taking the Thank time. You. And for MyMMANews.com, I appreciate my man Kermit Cintron for taking the time. And keep it locked to MyMMANews.com for all your fight news needs. <laughs> my man.